Greetings, friends and colleagues. It's Sean Elvis. Um, it's a windy, cold uh, fall day here in Denver, Colorado, with cloudy and overcast. The sun's going down. I'm going to try to do this video. I hope it's, the wind doesn't bother the audio too much. Anyway, here we go. Um, in today's video, I want to do a quick recap and a review of my struggles and my triumphs over the past year since my woman left me, right? Um, you know, I still remember the last time I saw her. I could still see it in my head. You know, she's she's walking away from me and I and I call her name. I say, hey. <laughs> and then uh, she just keeps walking away, doesn't even look back. I called her again, I said, hey. She just keeps walking away and I said, I ain't gonna chase her. She's gone. I'm gonna just let her go. That's where she wants to go anyway. I told myself, you know, she can go find out the hard way. <laughs> that, you know, nobody's gonna love her as much as I did. Nobody's gonna treat her as good as I did. She ain't gonna find the guy to love her as much as I did, you know? But ever since then, you know, I try to stay really busy. You know, I try to stay really busy. Um, I had just gotten a new job and I was working, you know, constantly working out, going to the gym and just trying to keep my mind just off of it, right, as best as I could. But, you know, <laughs> as much as I tried, you know, it's like the more and more I just kept running everything over in my head over and over and over again. Like, what did I do wrong, you know? What should I have done better? What could I have done different? <laughs> Thinking like... It was my fault, you know, like, you know, how could we fix it? You know, how could, like, maybe I could do something to, to uh, fix things and, and get things back on the tr on track. And, um, you know, so I hit the ground running. I hit the ground hard. You know, I cut out all the drugs, all the alcohol, all the pornography. Um, I got back into church and I really tried to clean up my life and really just... Get, get as sharp as I could because I was trying to fix things and um, you know that's when I started producing videos <laughs> um, you know I produced my first video called striving for perfection back in October um, in the middle of October and my goal you know was to tell the story uh, that I was going through and, and you know share my story share the feelings that I was um, experiencing so that maybe you guys could uh, learn from it and not make the same mistakes or or, you know, maybe somebody's going through the same thing. And, you know, maybe they can get uh, some encouragement to, you know, not feel so bad that they were the only ones going through it. You know, you know, my goal was to just tell my story. Just make some videos, tell my story. Um, I didn't really have a plan. <laughs> there wasn't really, like, much to it other than, like, hey, here's here's what's going on. Uh, here's what I'm thinking, right? Um, it was almost therapeutic because, you know, I would sit back, sit at my desk and just pray to God. And I'd say, God, here's what I'm going through. Um, please help, you know. And I'd sit there and I'd open up my Bible and I'd pray and I'd say, and I'd ask him, I'd say, hey, you know, help me say something in these videos to help other people, you know. I didn't know how my videos were going to be received, if people were going to hate them or or love them or whatever, you know, it really didn't matter to me. I just prayed to God and I said, just use me, you know, if you could just use me and reach one person, you know, use it for good. You know, all that pain that I felt, you know, I just took it and I harnessed it and I shared it with the world. I share it with you guys, right? And, you know, I studied the Bible, you know, I, w I would just sit down and I'd say, God, I'm going to read this Bible until you teach me something and <laughs> something worth value that I could share with people, right? Something that I need to, like, help myself heal in my own heart, right? My own spirit. And I would sit there, and sometimes I'd sit there all day and just read the Bible. I would read all day, and he wouldn't teach me nothing. And I'd go back the next day, read something else, read it, and just keep reading until he showed me something. I just wouldn't let him go. I said, hey, I'm not leaving you until you teach me. <clears throat> but anyway, you know, it, it was a miracle because he... He, he did teach me something, you know, he kept teaching me and I was just like, wow, you know, he's teaching me and it's, and it's, and it's helping me, it's, it's healing me, you know, now, 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 my pain didn't go away, 
you know <laughs> in fact uh it, it grew worse <laughs> almost <laughs> um because in late november that was our anniversary from the day we met and you know i texted her again and i said hey look i've been doing good you know i cleaned up my life you know how are you doing maybe we could fix things right and and I had been texting her periodically, you know, every week I'd say like, hey, how's it going? Or, you know, and she would just ignore me. Um, but, you know, finally one day I just, I said, you know, I'm going to just write her one long letter, a long letter, tell her exactly how I feel. And I sent it to her and I didn't expect her to respond. And then, boom, she responded. And, you know, we talked for that night. But ultimately, you know, I, she was just like, you know... I don't want to get back together. And I was like, okay, <laughs> whatever, you know, what could I do, right? Um, but it was about after that time, you know, I fell into a very deep, dark depression. You know, I tried um, to hide my emotions in my videos as much as I could. But I was very uh, depressed, you know. Um, I, I, I tried to still go to work and go to the gym and go through the motions but my mind was I was losing my like my spirit my drive I guess my my motivation um I, I got depressed I got really sad you know and I think you know I got sad because I was just so focused on what I had lost you know I lost something very valuable very precious to me right I mean this person that I loved um but you know I kept going through the motions but it wasn't until Christmas hit right because that was one of our uh, anniversary days an important day you know it's Christmas and I remember standing around Christmas like I was just like a, a, a man with what do you call it like a, I was a, a shell of a man right I was just a shell you know and there's nothing inside it was empty and you know I, I went home Christmas and I just I just crashed you know that's when um, I fell back in the drugs I fell back in the the pornography and the alcohol and I just caved guys I just caved you know, and I hate to say it, but, you know, that's the truth. Because um, I think up until that point, I had hopes that, you know, she's going to come back. She's going to come to her senses, you know. She'll understand. She'll figure it out. But, you know, she didn't. And I think I just I just lost it. And uh, I had to come to the realization that, you know, she didn't love me. She, she, she was playing me. She used me. Um... And I had to come face to face with the reality that, you know, I might never see her again. Um, I, in fact, I might even be alone the rest of my life. You know, I might not even ever have kids anymore. Uh, who knows, right? You know, and, and I, it was bad, guys. I was bad. You know, I'd sleep all day. Um, I quit my job, you know. Um, I even uh, exited the church, stopped going to church. I just... I didn't do anything, <laughs> anything productive at least, you know, but at, it was that point in time, my, my good friend Chris Cantu, you know, who's also a fellow brother in, on the YouTube, well, he used to do YouTube, but my, my bro Chris Cantu, you know, he reached out to me and he's, and I was drowning, I was drowning in my sorrows and this guy, he just came out of nowhere and lifted me up, like, he gave me the motivation to keep going, right? My good friend Chris, you know, I'll never forget that. God bless you, Chris. Um, and it took me a few, it took me a while. But eventually around my birthday, you know, I think I finally pulled myself out of my ditch that I dug myself into. Uh, and I started doing my videos again. I poured my heart and soul back into it. And I think I came out with a video called... Uh, um, uh, what was it like overcoming depression or or I forgot what it was something like that like I don't know I, I can't remember right now but you know I, I I just poured all my my pain and my sadness into my videos again and I said hey people need to like know what's going on you know because this is part of the journey that's that's, that's happening to me and I, and I didn't want to quit what I started, you know. I, I started on this mission, and I said I'm going to continue on, you know. And, you know, I, I, I went back to church, got rid of the drugs, got rid of the alcohol, the pornography, and everything. And, you know, I got back on track. And, you know, things were going great. I said, you know what, start of a new year. Um, I just had my birthday, got a new year, to new fresh start. I said, let's go, let's do this. And I f finally think I came to peace with the fact that, hey, she ain't coming back. 
I got to move forward. I got to be positive. I can't just sit here and uh, be sad about it all the, all the time, right? And, you know, and I said, okay, God, you know, if I'm going to be alone forever, you know, because that's been, I, I was planning for a worst case scenario. I said, you know, if I'm going to be alone forever um, and you don't want me to have a family, well, I surrender myself to you. Whatever you want me to do, I'm going to do it, right? And um, I went full, full bore ahead, you know. And he answered me, you know, he said, Sean, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. That's what he said to me. And I said, oh, yes, Lord, I will feed your sheep. But I, how am I going to do that? I'm uneducated. I don't have any money. You know, I'm, I don't have any skills. Like, how am I going to feed your sheep? And, but you know what? I said, you know, I'll do that, Lord. I'll do it. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Um, and I came back really strong, really strong. Hit it hard in the church. Um, really got involved in the community. Um, got a new job. Everything was going good, you know. And, I, and that's when I, I think I came back with a sermon called uh, How Feminism Has Failed Women. And this video got more views than I've ever got before. Um, people were giving it thumbs up. I got new subscribers. And I was like, whoa, you know, maybe people do want to hear this message. Maybe this is making an impact, you know. So, you know, I just I kept studying my Bible. You know, I, I poured my heart into serving the Lord. You know, I, I kept going to church and... I went back to the gym, and even though the loss uh, was still in my heart, you know, I still felt the pain, you know, I would think of her every day, but, you know, it wasn't as bad because I, I was so busy serving the Lord that, you know, I, I didn't have time, I, it's not that I didn't have time, but it, the pain was um, being replaced with like a, it was like after the acceptance stage, I guess, the pain was just being it was still there, but it was being like replaced with just love. I said, you know what? I'm going to replace this pain with love and serving others, you know? And I was doing great. You know, I was in a full sprint the right direction and uh, everything was going great. And then boom, her, her birthday came up. Her birthday came up and, you know, I messaged her again in June and I said, hey, I just want to check up on you. How are things doing? You know, how are you doing? Tell her I still love you. I still care about you. I still pray for you. And, uh, you know, she didn't, she didn't say anything to me, you know. Uh, it was sad, you know. She just gave me, like, a thank you, like, something stupid, right? And I was like, all right, well, I guess, she, you know, she just doesn't want to talk to me. All right, whatever. You know, and, 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 and I was, I, I, I didn't fall into a deep, dark depression again, but I was sad. You know, the sadness hit me again. And, and I started questioning myself, like, am I accomplishing anything? Like, what am I doing with these videos? Am I just wasting my time here, you know? Am I a fool for still loving this woman? Like, you know, what am I doing? So I, you know, I stopped making my videos again. I, I kind of fell back into a depression, though not as bad. I didn't go back to the drugs and the pornography and nothing like that this time. Um, but I, I just did a lot of Bible reading, a lot of Bible reading and a lot of self-reflection and uh, time in the wilderness with God. And... A lot of praying to God and I asking him you know what should I be doing you know am I, is this what I'm supposed to be doing and you know and it was at this time you know I had an argument with my church pastor and um, I fell out of that church because uh, you know we had a disagreement and argument and you know so I wasn't going to that church anymore and you know I didn't want to go backwards so you know God just told me to you know keep going but you got to find a new church you got to find a new home a new family and um, I did find a new church you know uh, eventually I had to go through a couple churches but uh, eventually I found one um, I joined the church choir it was great and I was feeling better than ever you know I was feeling better than ever you know uh, this is a few months ago uh, but I was really doing good the pain was really starting to fade away like the pain was almost gone still loved the girl but the pain of losing her was uh, was fading away, um, and I remember after I was really strong, I felt really spiritually strong, really sound with where I was at, and I texted her one last time, and I said, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, are you okay? Like, you sure you want to, like, throw me away forever? Like, is that really what you want to do? Because I love you, and, um, you know, she long story short she basically said you know i don't want you in my life get out of here um i still blame you uh 
for everything and you know at this point I didn't take it hard at this point I was like okay she didn't learn her lesson she you know she still wants to blame me she doesn't have a spirit of forgiveness you know because I had learned to forgive you know I had learned to forgive and I healed I still have a scar but I healed um, and I only healed through forgiveness and uh, so anyway I, I gave her a final farewell and I said okay well God bless you and I hope I hope nothing but the best for you but I'm I'm, I'm leaving like this is it and uh, man you know I felt so free since then because this time I didn't get sad no depression I just kept doing what I'm doing you know just kept going to church reading my Bible producing my videos um, building an online community, uh, strengthening my brothers, um, getting involved in the church, and just sticking with my work. And you know, I, I think it was like last month, it was last month, you know, I even took a trip to Mexico, uh, Yucatan, Mexico, or Cancun, Mexico, and man, that was so fun. And it just showed me like, hey, God's what God's created here on earth is great you know you don't have to be sad um, that you know you lost this person I mean I mean it's a sad situation but uh, I, I came back refreshed guys I came back refreshed like I felt like a new man like man you know I can I can do a fresh jump start and just kickstart everything only this time better I'm, I'm I rebuilt myself I'm stronger I'm smarter um, and I won't be deceived like I was last time, right? Now I, I actually have something to share with people of value. You know, I can, I can teach people so maybe they don't fall into the same situation. And, you know, anyway, the reason I'm making this video today, guys, is because today <laughs> marks the 365 days, the one-year anniversary of my breakup. And, man, I'm telling you guys, I feel like a new man. I feel like I feel great. Um... MGTOW saved my life. Uh, and you know what? Jesus Christ saved my life. Thanks to Jesus. Thanks for my church. Thanks for all my brothers in church. Thanks for Chris. And, uh, you know, I got I to gotta tell you this, you know. I, I was sad this morning, right? In the past few days, I've been sad because I knew this day was coming. And that's why I kind of haven't been put, putting out videos like I have dailies uh, for the past few days because I, I was kind of feeling sad. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, this morning I was pretty sad and I just wanted to lay in bed and let the day just fly by. Um, but it's like God sent me an angel. God sent me an angel. Um, I, I just out of nowhere, uh, this, 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 this girl, you know, this really beautiful girl sends me a friend's request on Facebook. And, and I'm like, what is this? You know, who is this? People don't send me friend's requests. What is this stuff? Anyway, she sends me a friend's request, and I'm, I'm talking to her like, okay, who are you? Like, what is this? What do you want, right? Um, but to my surprise, you know, she was like, I just got, I just got broke up with my boyfriend, and I'm going through the same thing that you've been going through, Sean. And I'm like, whoa, like, so I'm kind of like telling her like, hey, you know, here's my situation, you know, like kind of giving her like a little tip and, you know, what I've been through. And, you know, she's the one who inspired me to make this video so shout out to uh Aya you know she uh she inspired me to make this video and we we kind of lifted each other up today you know because I asked her I said do you believe in Jesus and she said yeah I believe in Jesus I said well then you have the Holy Spirit in you and I have the Holy Spirit in me so you know the Holy Spirit used inside of each of us you know we used each other to just lift each other up today you know because she's feeling sad I'm feeling sad and I'm and I'm like you know let's not be sad we don't have to be sad so I, I kind of uh, encouraged her to not be sad and she and she encouraged me and it was great and so you know I thank God for that and he and she inspired this video um, and praise God praise God is good you know um, without God none of this would be possible but you know I gotta tell you guys uh, I, I mean I, I, I don't really have a gospel message for this video today um, and I don't want this video to be too long um, so like what's the point right? what, what's the point of my message you know I guess I just wanted to get some ideas out give a quick review and and maybe give you guys some uh, inspiration you know that uh, and remind you guys that like 
God's still here. He's still with us, you know, no matter how sad we get and how bad we think we got it. Um, Because God, you know, told me, he said, you know, just keep making the videos, Sean. You don't know who you're going to touch. You don't know who you're going to reach in the world. I mean, somebody might need this one day, right? So just keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving forward. Stay the course. You know, and I guess I just want to remind everybody that, you know, Jesus can work miracles. Jesus is a healer. You know, he healed me, you know. Uh, I felt so heavy one year ago. Like, I was a mess, right? I was just a disaster. And I didn't have any clue where I'd be at today. I didn't think I would ever get over the pain. I really didn't. And here it is, like a miracle. Today, I feel like a new man. And you know what? I got to say this, though. I don't think it was just time that healed my wounds. You know, they say time heals all wounds. And, you know, there might be some truth to that, the time. But I, I like to think, you know, part of it was my faith in Jesus, you know. He, uh, my reading of the Bible, my going to church, you know, it really strengthened me spiritually and got me through those really dark valleys that I was in because it was like a roller coaster ride of ups and downs, ups and downs, you know. And, I, and I'm so glad that, you know, I didn't go out there and, and try to hook up with another woman or, uh, you know, jump from woman to woman or anything like that. You know, I didn't try to get over my woman with another woman. You know what I mean? I, I just went straight to the source of love. I went straight to God. And, you know, I think um, giving back to my community helped. I tried to help other people with these videos. And I think the best way, guys, um, if you can take anything from this message today is... If you're, if you're trying to get over a heartbreak, you know, the best thing you can do is go touch somebody else's heart. You know, go try to help other people. You know, the Bible says it's better to give than receive. You know, so I think if you just go out there and give love, um, that's the best way to heal your broken heart. Stop being so selfish and thinking, oh, well, I lost this, man. I'm going to be sad because I lost this. And start being thankful and grateful for what you do have. And saying to yourself, well, what do I do have right now, you know? Um, Because what you have now, you have to make the most of what you got. You know, you can't control what's out of your control, right? And and I want to remind you guys, even Jesus Christ got stabbed in the back by by his own disciple Judas. So, I mean, if you can get stabbed in the back by your best friend, you know, Jesus did the same thing. So, you're, it's not like you're going through something that uh, nobody else is going through, right? There's people out there going through the same thing, you know? Because you know, that can make you feel worthless when you get stabbed in the back by the person who's supposed to be watching your back, who's supposed to got your back until the day you die. That's the person who stabs me in the back? Like, that's tough. Um, But you know what happened to Judas in that story, right? He killed himself. He couldn't get over the guilt of stabbing God, stabbing Jesus Christ in the back. And you know, I'm I'm not saying I, I, you know, I wish anything bad on my ex, you know. I I wish nothing but the best for her. I, I, you know what, I hope she's doing as good as me right now. I really do. I hope she's doing better than me. (laughs) I really do. You know, God bless you. I hope she's doing better than me. I would be pissed if she's not. Um, but that's a whole nother story, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say here, guys, is... This world can beat you up and beat you down. You know, but the Bible says, no matter what this world throws at you, if you have faith in Jesus, you can overcome it. He will heal you, you know. So the, for the people who do not believe in Jesus, they have it really tough. They have it really tough because they don't have a friend like Jesus to go to and tell their problems to, and somebody who will heal them, heal their, who heal their spiritual uh, heart, uh, broken heart, you know. But you know, Jesus will make sure that you make it through that valley uh, of the shadow of death, you know, because He's a miracle worker. You know, the Bible says Jesus is the name above all names. And um, thank you, Jesus, for getting me this far. I did, I did not think I'd be here today, guys. I, I, yeah, no way, no way I'd be here today, guys. Um, and no doubt, Jesus Christ has gotten me here. No doubt that He's helped me to get this far, this fast. And um, 
I don't want this message to drag on. So uh, that's my review. That's my recap. Um, I appreciate you guys for listening. And I appreciate everybody who supported me along the way. Man, you know, those little thumbs up, those little comments you guys leave, man, that keeps me going. It really does. And um, I just hope in the future, in the next year to come, that I can continue to uh, be of use to God and and support you guys and and give you guys uh, encouragement and uh, and be a blessing to to the world and to my community here. Anyways, that's my message for the day, guys. Um, I don't want this message to drag on, so I'll catch you guys on the next video. Tomorrow I'll be preaching on... um, or maybe not tomorrow, but the next video is coming out as uh, the third commandment in the Bible. Do not take the Lord's name in vain. So stay tuned for that, guys. Anyways, you guys have a good day. This is Sean Alva signing off. Um, but as usual, don't forget, you know, I always give God the last word. So um, I'm going to be reading from um, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14 through 18. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14 through 18. Here we go. You guys have a good day. Bible says... Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is, and be not drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. Amen.